Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to finish building Matt Carricker's 540 cubic inch big block Chevy. In part one of this engine build series, we assembled the short block of Matt's 540 cubic inch cruiser. And today, we are going to top it off with some of our smetting components. So a quick rundown, we're gonna run our 315 cc aluminum cylinder head. These heads have a super efficient intake port and combustion chamber and make very broad usable torque. To help give us that super broad usable torque and still maintain lots of vacuum for good drivability, we run a hydraulic roller custom camshaft. The specs are 243-249 on a 110 lobe separation angle with 613 intake and exhaust lift. Because it's a hydraulic roller engine running our Gatorman link bar lifter, he will not have to adjust any of the valve train once we set it up and run it on the dyno. To open the valve, we're going to run Scorpion 1.7 ratio big block Chevy rocker arms. With the parts rundown out of the way, let's get to building this engine. We actually sell these lifters for LS engine applications on our website at smedicperformance.com. So if you're looking for an upgraded lifter that has a link bar, um, these are a great setup. With this engine, we're going to run a set of aluminum Scorpion rocker arms with Manly 3 8 push rods, ARP rocker arm studs, as well as an Edelbrock dual plane intake manifold to help give us a super broad and usable torque curve.
And just like that, the 540 cubic inch cruiser motor for Matt is all finished up and ready to dyno. In next week's video, Matt's going to come by the shop and we're going to dyno this engine and show him just how much power this beast can make. See y'all then.